All right. Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry, I've been absent for a little while. I assure you I'm alive. The coronavirus did not get to me. I've just been busy doing my job, uh, you know, hunting for listings, uh, helping people find listings, helping people buy boats, put in offers, all that jazz. So, uh, sorry for the absence, but uh, I've got something a bit interesting for you today. So, I am here in Miami. I've been called out here for a survey for a boat which is going to be listed. Uh, and it, it is a Fontaine Peugeot VG39. Uh, now, if you've not heard of the Fiji 39, I don't blame you. It is not a very common model. It is basically the older, bigger sister to the uh, Fontaine Peugeot Marquisis 32. Actually, sorry, Maldives 32. And uh, the design dates from about 19, 1980, 87. So this is, we're firmly within classic catamaran territory. So this time is a little different. I'm basically going in blind. I've only kind of briefly surveyed the boat, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't have an equipment list. I don't know the engine hours. I'm not too sure. We're really not too sure, you know, about the boats, uh, the integrity of the boat systems because the backstory behind this boat is that it was donated uh, to a charity and this charity, well, it's an adaptive sailing charity and they, they already have a catamaran that's specifically designed to be wheelchair accessible and this one is not. So they don't really have a huge use for it. So they're just basically going to sell it to raise some money to fund their operating expenses. This is also going to be a little interesting because to my knowledge, no one has ever really done an in-depth video review of the Fiji 39. It's not a very common boat. Uh, I did a quick pull on sold records. There were only 16. So yeah, I can't imagine more than about 20 of these were ever produced. Um, a couple years ago, some poor sod working for Pop Yachts got uh, tasked with trying to sell one. And uh, let's just say his attempt didn't go over very well. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you accidentally make a video look like a VHS tape in 2015, but somehow this guy managed to do it. And uh, unfortunately, judging from the comments section, the Pop, the Pop Yachts Commissar sent him to the video school gulag. I'm sure he made it out okay. Maybe. Now, quick disclaimer before we begin. I already have seen the boat. I know that it's a bit of a mess. Here's what the, what the charity is going to do. So what's gonna happen is that uh, this charity has some relationship with some local marine firms, and these marine firms have you know apprenticeship programs for young ch kids who are looking to get into the industry. And this you know catamaran is going to be used as a bit of a you know a hands-on learning experiment to give you know the kids a taste of what it's like to refit a boat and. Yeah, with, with adult supervision, but uh, they're gonna fix up the boat, and then once everything is fixed, we're gonna see, you know, how much it can raise for charity. So it's a bit of an it's a bit of an interesting case. So yes, things may look bad, but you know, once the guys and the kids start tearing things apart, things are just gonna look even worse. So we're we're gonna use this as a bit of a before, and I'll make an after video later, seeing you know the work that they've done. So with that said, let's go check out the boat. So no gimbal, sorry for any shaky cam today, uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is the Fountain Peugeot Fiji 39, and I actually didn't recognize this boat at first. I thought from a distance it was a Maldives 32, until I went uh, closer to the boat and I noticed the chain plate placement relative to the windows is actually quite wrong. Then I remembered that Peugeot put the name on the uh, sugar scoops of all of their older boats, except for that they spelled it really weird. It's spelled with a D because, you know, uh, French people. So, yeah. All right, so we'll start at the sugar scoops. Um, the swim ladder is actually up there. You have your davits. Uh, looks like, unfortunately, we're missing a rub rail. We'll have to replace that. <clears throat> this is the engine compartment right here. It's like an outboard, uh, outboard of, I don't know, questionable. Uh, 
Ah, so it looks like actually the engine is more is more yeah, forward. This is just the battery compartment. Right this is just a, a lazarette. Mm-hmm. So it looks like that's the that's the rudder stock, as well as some storage. So that's actually not the engine compartment. All right. Like I said, I'm going in here blind. So we're just gonna we're just learning. We got the traveler here. Pair of winches on the end, as well as blocks for what I believe is probably a light air sail. Uh, now, interesting thing about the Fiji 39, it's actually a galley up configuration. So the reason this helm station is pushed so far forward is that the galley is actually on the opposite side, and you'll see that uh, when we go inside. So here's the helm station. Again, that's your visibility. All the canvas on this boat is relatively new. We've got uh, actually communication with the inside of the with the salon via this window. Hmm. I guess that's part of the engine. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, this boat is going to be redone, so a bit of fiberglass loss there. Overall, look at the Traveler. Looks to be in good shape. That's the aft battery compartment. Cockpit. We'll start outside. It has the older kind of uh, pod style salon with the very uh, kind of spherical windows, kind of like an Outremer. We'll take a look at the rig. Uh, let's see. Th triple, uh, let's see, double spreader, uh, oxagonal. Not all the lines are run backwards, as you'd imagine, on a boat of this age, so. You'll have to use this winch to crank the halyards. There is a uh, rather interesting choice of gangplank. It's just kind of wood, and the anchor just runs up on that. Got a self-furling jib up there, as well as a pair of bow seats. Um, I don't know if I was if I was the owner of this boat, I'd consider adding maybe some lifelines up there. But hey, it was the '80s. They uh, you know they did things differently. You know, this boat, by modern standards, is really a performance cruiser. The holes are not particularly wide. It's, it's quite a fast boat, really, when you get it up to speed. And be before I forget, we'll check the locker real quick. Thank you, Bradley. We've got a spare line in here. This is the... What is this? This is... Is this the light air sail, or...? No, this no. is That's, uh... more... I want to say that's just more sunbrow. Yeah, that's just more canvas. Um, you have yeah, a windlass, windlass chain, as well as aluminum holding tank. And what is that? Radar reflector. Yeah, so that's extra water there. Yeah. And then this is the, actually the, the black water mm -hmm. holding tank right here. So before we go inside, one last look at the helm station. We've got a suite of Raymarine electronics on here. You can access the internals of the console by lifting up this latch. We'll come inside and hope my camera can adapt to the low light. <laughs> Again, maybe not the greatest boat if you're six foot two like me. And yes, you'll notice the headliner has seen better days don't worry about it. This boat is going to be ripped apart and put back together better than before. So it is galley up. You've got a stove down here, dual basin sink, two burner propane <clears throat> storage up here, as well as the aforementioned window. And yep, there's a 
uh, fridge side loading not too typical for this era let's see in here we have access to the chain plates fire extinguisher the <clears throat> let's see we're in the porthole here's the aft cabin hmm bit of uh, paint loss there Storage on the side. The heads are en suite and walk through. So, again, I know the headliner is going to be replaced. It's going to be replaced. You have storage off the side again on the forward berth. So the air conditioner is behind this salon window. That actually runs pretty well. Of course, the boat is still pretty hot because of course we're in Miami. But, uh, and also before I forget, the generator is under the forward port bunk. Definitely not original because French people hate generators. And uh, I am quite frankly kind of puzzled how they even got this blasted thing through here because <laughs> must have been quite a challenge. Wow. All right. That's fine. This is the starboard aft. This boat is a 4-2 layout, technically. More storage on the side. window looks good there's more storage here but it's just full of spares so I'm not gonna bother with that again thanks to Bradley for cleaning up the boat before I went to video it so it doesn't look like a complete disaster <laughs> we've got well technically I believe that is an escape hatch if you need it but while you're at anchor, you could use it for ventilation. It's nice and big. Four peaks are up there. You probably, sorry, the lighting isn't great in here and I don't really have a way to improve it, but yes, you can access that. <clears throat> Felt covering for the this part of the hole. Another hatch up here. And each, each cabin does come with its own uh, uh, settee, small settee down here for getting uh, dressed and undressed. And this side is, like I said, it's a 4-2, so this side is identical to the other side. Though, the other, the other head is technically slightly bigger since this part has the, a bit of extra storage. Okay, so before I forget, uh, we're going to take a quick look at the engine, or at least the one engine that works. The other engine is out of commission for now. Uh, so this, this is a fridge right here. Ah, interesting. Yeah. All right. The fridge freezer. I mean, useful, maybe not the most convenient placement, but you got to be creative. This was the 80s, remember. And the engine is under the bunk, yes? Yeah. All right. A few moments later. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to open this up for the surveyor anyway. So after a bit of effort, yeah, the, the conduits are running on the side here. Uh, that must be. Uh, that's part of the. That's the auto helm. Shore power. And this is the engine. Thirty-year-old catamaran engine still runs. Hopefully it'll still run when we go to sea trial it. 
and fuel filter back there. So yes, the engine is mounted under the bed. I don't know the hours. Uh, I'd be shocked if it's under 5,000, so yeah. Sorry, we're getting ready for a survey, so we got people arriving on the boat. And uh, that is the Fountain Peugeot Fiji 39, the definitive tour, I hope. Um, anyway, but, uh, if you're ever curious about this piece of Fountain Peugeot's history, well, there it is. All right, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.